Greetings, beautiful and radiant beings. My name is Zephyr. Welcome to my channel. I'm a licensed massage therapist, bodywork professional, Reiki master teacher, shamanic practitioner, sound healer, and psychic intuitive. I'm here to share with you messages from spirit. These messages are timeless. Whenever you receive them is the perfect time for you. If the messages stick with you, accept them full heartedly. If they don't, you know, just let it let it cruise on by. There's definitely going to be something in the reading for you. Beautiful beings, I am offering up some free reading action. If you're interested in getting a free reading by me, check out the description. You can also jump around in the reading to different parts. Hmm, beautiful beings, we're going to get started out how we always do, and that is to clear and ground the space. So, wherever you are at, allow your eyes to rest for just a moment if it's safe. Bring your attention to your breath. Notice what your breath does to your body. How your body expands and contracts as you breathe in and breathe out. Shift your attention to the tip of your tailbone and extend your breath beyond your physical body into the earth beneath you. Sense the vibration of Mother Earth and with your inhale, draw the vibration of Mother Earth to sit within your pelvic bowl area. Allow this nurturing and grounding energy to reside within this place of your physical body for as long as you need. And know that you can come back to that at any time, simply by shifting your attention to that area. Angel spirits, guides, thank you, thank you for all of the messages that you have shared and thank you for the messages that are on their way. Angel spirits, guides, what is it that the collective needs to know the most right now? What are the messages that they need to know the most? I'm going to get all the cards out on the table and then I'll share with you how it is that I do my readings. Hold that one too. so much for the messages that you've shared. What else is it that we have? Okay. We've got six cards today. Typically we do five and it's a cross shape that I work with and the center card is the card that is the energy that is coming up for you the most. It's the thing that you need to pay attention to the most. The cards on either side are the cards that portray the energy um, that is also influencing this time in your life. And the card above and below are things that spirit uh, has to share with you that you may or may not be aware of at this time. So the card that is in the center is card number 15. Uh, it is honor your energy. We're working with the shamanic healing oracle. Um, and uh, so this honoring your energy card um, is really about you taking care of yourself. This is a self a self care energy card. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of cards in this deck that are about self care, but this card um, it's, it's about you really putting yourself first, your truth, that which makes you whole and to respect yourself in a way that is not like a way that anybody else is going to respect you. 
spirit is being a little bit cryptic about how this message wants to come through. So it, it, this honoring your energy, it's this respect that you have for yourself. And sometimes uh, maybe some of you out there are, are allowing other people to be disrespectful to you. I'm not sure quite uh, what this, this whole respect thing is about, but I think there's somebody out there that has maybe let other people uh, disrespect them and they've gone along with it and they're just kind of like, well, some attention is better than no attention. Spirit's saying, no, 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 we're not doing that. You need to, you need to honor yourself. You need to honor your energy. You need to honor all of the parts about you and the attention that you get from others is not worth the sacrifice of yourself, of your being, okay? The cards on either side, uh, card number four, past, present, and future. For those of you that have been following me, you know that this is my uh, time travel card. Uh, so it's this card that transcends time and space. It allows us to astral project. It allows us to go into our, our past stories, our past histories, our past lifetimes. It allows us to bring it all into the future so that it can be the present. It also is a card that allows us uh, to move forward into the future and do some future planning as well. Uh, the position that it's in is in the recent past. So this honoring your energy card, uh, this, the, the whole message coming back to uh, not letting people disrespect you is coming up for me. And so Spirit is, is sharing with me that as, as you are becoming more and more aware of this, you're recognized that there is something there that isn't serving you anymore and you need to make some changes with that. And that can be a belief system, a pattern, a person, uh, an employer, a business partner, uh, just there's something that is not not jiving well with you. When I feel into it a little bit more, I get the feeling that it's there's 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 a way that you have allowed yourself to be and allowed other people to treat you. And spirit is saying it's kind of time for you to be done with that, with that honoring your energy card that's coming up. So my 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 feel is that where this card came up in the in the just kind of recent past but still part of your present um, uh, in your continuum of life is that there's something that that needs to be made uh, made right uh, are the words that are coming forward but we'll get into that a little bit further when we pull some clarifying cards uh, I want to talk about this other card that's on the other side of it so we've got card number five and that is psychic development all right, beautiful beings, when it happens in this way, <laughs> and now I'm looking at the other cards and I'll share this with you in just a moment, um, but we've got card number four and we've got card number five on either side of the energy that is influencing you right now. So we've got progression energy. We've got spirit sharing with you that it is time for you to move forward, okay? So this psychic development card can be about your psychic senses. Now this is in the, the, the near future or the kind of like next moments of our life position for me. So what this means is that uh, uh, you are receiving these intuitions. You're having these flashes of, oh yes, I get this. Oh yeah, I see what life can be like. Oh yeah, if I continue with this thing and allowing other people to use my energy, I can see what it is. And this also means that you're uh, seeing a way through it as well and you're feeling a way through it. Uh, you're perceiving a way. Our psychic development, our psychic senses aren't just uh, the clairvoyance, you know, the, the, the gift that is associated with the third eye chakra. It's all of our psychic senses, all of our perceptive abilities, uh, all of the ways that we receive the world around us that are non-physical, okay? So this is the, the feeling things that mm, uh, aren't re revolved around physical touch. You know, I can feel myself doing this, but if I felt something like that uh, as I was just walking around, I would go, Hmm, what's that about, right? Or, you know, the, the gut feeling that you have uh, uh, when you walk into a room. Um, this is also the flashes of, of intuitions or the just knowing the ways to go or the where, the where to be's. Um, so some of you are getting this and this is helping you through this psychic, uh, this psychic 
imprints that you're receiving are helping you as you move forward, okay? Uh, before I talk about the cards that are above and below, um, this sixth card that came out um, is um, 12, uh, card number 12, which is truth. And this is about uh, your throat chakra. This is about you speaking your needs into the out there, <laughs> right? Many of us have all of these thoughts about the things that we want to say and the things that we want to do. And sometimes we get a little bit wrapped up in our, um, our own minutia, our own flow and our own, you know, coulda, shoulda, wouldas and I oughtas and uh, the land of what if. Um, so Spirit is saying, this is some time for you, this is the time for you to be sharing your truth, okay, with, with the people that are around you. And to do so in a way that is not harmful to yourself, first and foremost, because if you're having truth with yourself, share it with yourself, first and foremost, with 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 kindness with loving and with love and compassion okay uh honesty openness uh um so that you can share that with the people that are out there now this comes back to this this energy of someone um someone that is that is kind of being disrespectful of your energy okay so it's time for you to clarify some boundaries and to say, hey, this doesn't work for me anymore and what I would like is. Now, to get to that point, you're gonna have to give yourself the opportunity to write down and figure out what that is. Grab your pen, grab your paper, grab your little notes on your phone, figure out what it is that you wanna say before you jump into that conversation and then go, hmm, okay, this is what I want, this is what I need, okay? It'll also help you to feel more confident uh, speaking about yourself and being compassionate towards yourself and others instead of doing the, the blame game. Well, you did this and so now I feel this way and this and this and this, right? No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to, we don't want to perpetuate this cycle of, of uh, just craziness. We want to move forward. So we want to be able to say, hey, you know what? I've reflected and um, I'm noticing that uh, whatever it is that you're noticing and what I need is uh, to feel more safe, to feel more secure, to, to have an understanding of how the business works, to whatever it is that you need to feel safe and secure in yourself and to honor your energy so that you're not letting other people take advantage of you and you're not doing all of, you know, just go with the flow uh, and, oh yeah, you can do whatever you want and then you end up feeling not great, okay? We wanna avoid all of that. We wanna have us being empowered, standing in our power to speak our truth. When we are able to do that, it frees up our throat chakra energy, which then also frees up our sacral chakra energy. This is the place where we create. This is the place where all of our masculine and feminine energy resides. This is where our self dwells. This is where our power comes from, as well as our third chakra, okay? So it creates a, 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 an open and a fluidness in our second chakra when we open our fifth chakra, okay? So some, some, some good stuff coming, coming through for you all already. Now we'll talk about uh, the card above and the card below. The card above is card number 22. 22, master number, you're, you're creating the world you wanna see around you, you're, you're setting up the structure, you're doing the magic that needs to happen and you're going through a metamorphosis. You're changing the things in your life. So if you're not already experiencing this, you're on the edge of experiencing this. On the bottom, we've got card number 23, and that is forgiveness. Okay, so reel it back just a little bit. On either side of the center card, we've got card number four, we've got card number five, progression energy. It steps in again, y'all, with card number 22 and card number 23. We've got movement forward, so you're really taking leaps and bounds on lots of different levels of your being. We've got the spiritual level, and we've got the physical, emotional, mental level that you are moving forward with. You are transforming the things in your life by speaking your truth and letting everything come up for you. Now, part of this transformational process, part of this you embodying your energy and honoring your needs, honoring your energy is gonna take some level of forgiveness, okay? And this can be forgiveness of yourself, 
this can be forgiveness of others. Um, but there's something in there that is about forgiveness, okay? We'll get into all of that in just a moment. Those are the messages that Spear has to share so far. I'm going to turn to the top tarot and pull some clarifying cards on forgiveness and past, present, future, past, present, future, and transformation, transformation and psychic development, psychic development and forgiveness. I'll get those cards out real quick and then take a look at the overall picture and then share with you my intuitions about what is coming up. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for all of the messages that you have shared so far. Let's take a look at forgiveness and past, present, future. What is it that our beautiful beings need to know about that? All right. Awesome. Now let's take a look at past, present, future, and transformation. Okie dokie. Beautiful. Let's take a look at transformation and psychic development. Oh, yes, I'll tell them. <laughs> Spirit's saying, there's some magic that's happening. I need to tell it to you. Okay, what are we doing? Spirit says, just the cards that are on the table. So, we will say, just the cards that are on the table. But these ones, we're going to just put like this. There are four cards, and that might come in as we keep going with the energy. Okay. So the thing that Spirit had to share is this. As I'm looking at these cards, the forgiveness and past, present, future, we've got uh, forgiveness, which is card number 23. Two and three is five. Past, present, future is four. So we've got five, four energy. And then I'm looking at card number, uh, past, present, future, card number four, and transformation, card number 22. We've got four and four, all right? Then looking at transformation and card number five, psychic development, 22, transformation, five, psychic development, four, five, more progression energy, okay? And then I'm looking at psychic development and card number 23, which is forgiveness. So we've got five, okay? So as I'm looking at this, there is some mirror energy that is happening, all right? <sighs> beautiful beings, I'm getting this image that there is somebody that maybe this person that is coming through in your life uh, that is really challenging you to honor your energy and to assert your boundaries. Uh, and that doesn't mean, you know, like, let's let's go to war because, you know, you, you cross my boundaries. For some of you, that might be what needs to happen. But for most of us, that's really not what needs to happen. What we need to do is say, this is what I need. This is, this is, this is where I want my energy. Okay. So this spirit is sharing with me that there is very likely a person, this person is coming up and they are helping you level yourself up because <laughs> they're offering you some mirror image of yourself. We've got fives over this way. We've got fours over this way. We've got fours and fives repeating through all of this. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. I hear that. <laughs> My nose is itching. Somebody's, somebody's talking about it. Somebody's hearing about it. Okay. This card in the center, we've got 12, or excuse me, not in the center. This extra card that is influencing us, card number 12. Uh, one and two is three. Three is the number of divinity. Three is a number that is very stable and very powerful and uh, evokes the, the god, uh, mother maiden goddess, uh, uh, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, this whole Trinity kind of energy, all right? And then we've got, in the center, card number 15. One and five is six. So on the table, we've got threes, fours, fives, and six, okay? Lots of really powerful, moving forward energy. Lots of progression energy. Lots of you taking the steps forward, okay? So as I look at the cards now, and absorb the messages that are coming through taking a look at forgiveness and past present future we've got the knight of wands so this person that you know they've been there they 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 they're the person that is you know really kind of challenging you they're very passionate they're very much 
they're very much uh, they might be strongholding you uh, and you know kind of pushing you around being kind of bossy pretty forceful um, they might also be uh, a, a kind of passionate person you might have had a strong uh, love relationship with this person um, we've got a uh, series which is Mm, depending on who you talk to, a dwarf planet or a large asteroid. <laughs> I'm not going to debate any of that, but the, the message with this is to nurture. To nurture yourself, to nurture the relationship, to really... It's just bring some nourishment to yourself in this situation, right? If that means taking a break from this person, then take a break from that person, okay? There's no sense in you beating yourself up because that is not gonna help you out, all right? And then we've got Neptune stepping in with the energy of vision. And this is, this is a really kind of nebulous energy, I, I feel like, uh, in the sense of it being very open. Uh, and for those of you that have been receiving some of this, uh, hard relationship stuff or in relationship doesn't mean like boyfriend girlfriend boyfriend boyfriend girlfriend girlfriend it doesn't mean that kind of thing any kind of these relationships that have been challenging your uh respect for yourself and have been disregarding your energy your your wholeness um there's this this energy where your vision has been occluded and your, your ability to absorb all of the things around you has been kind of shut off because you've been receiving these messages that, uh, you know, maybe you're not good enough or that just, they haven't been life affirming messages to you from this person. So that's why there's this like, you know, get away. There's this mirror thing that's happening um, that that spirit needs you to see that you are worth so much more than whatever this person, this entity, this thing has been bringing in for you. Okay, so we wanna we wanna make sure that we're nurturing ourselves so that we can bring in this vision for ourselves. We can bring in the vision for the future, but more importantly, we can see kind of how we've been treated by this one person that has been fiery, that just gets up in it, they're ready to go, they have it going on, on that level, <laughs> right? So we wanna just bring some nurturing to ourselves for that. Maybe they need some nurturing too, like, okay? Um, those, those around us that uh, hurt others need the most help and the most love, as what I've been, what I've heard in the past. Um, let's take a look at past, present, future, and transformation. We've got the Three of Wands, the Moon, and the Queen of Swords. I'm not going to say exactly what Spirit said because it was pretty harsh, but with this, um, this Queen of Wands energy is really sticking out. You know, this person that's from the past, the Queen of Wands is, 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 really want you to face the truth and to just completely step into it and be like, you know, I'm done with bullshit. I'm done with going through all of the trials and tribulations, the, the thing that the moon brings through, the phases, the, the, the things that might be challenging, the, 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 all of the different faces that you might have got from this character from your past that's bringing you this mirror thing, right? Spirit is saying, we're time to be done with that. It's absolutely got to be done with it. No more, no more fucks to give, right? We, you know, the Queen of Swords. She's like, I'm in my power. I want truth. Uh, in this card, um, she's holding, she's holding a mask that one of one of the people that came to her and was asking for something. Uh, you know, she's holding the, their mask and she cut it right off their face. You know, she doesn't want to see any bullshit. She's done with it. She's she's in her power. Uh, swords are about communication. They're about truth, um, and and she's done with it. You know the moon, lots of emotions coming up can be very difficult. Can provide challenge for us. Okay, but we also have the three of wands, and this is a really um, there's something to be gained from this this interaction. There's some sort of 
of of uh, what is the word? There's some sort of power that you're gonna receive from making the 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 relationship right within yourself and honoring your energy. As I take a look at transformation and psychic development, we've got the Ace of Swords. Really awesome energy. Beautiful insights are coming to you. Remember what I said about this psychic uh, psychic development card? You're receiving insights. You're receiving this, this kind of knowledge. So the Ace of Swords, mental energy. New ideas are coming in. You're having brilliant, brilliant visions. You're having wonderful thoughts. You might be coming into contact with somebody new that's gonna help you to take yourself forward with your business, to help you uh, uh, get into maybe more, there might be somebody coming in for you that's gonna be giving you some mental help as well. You know, maybe they're, they're, they're able to help you uh, calm down your mind a little bit and get out of some ruminating thoughts, ruminating patterns. And <clears throat> with that, Somebody needed to hear that when my throat chakra gets a little bit um, stuffled up uh, and I have to clear it. Uh, that's my sign that ahem, ahem, you need to hear this. So if that resonates with you, you know, definitely be on the lookout for that. And that's a huge thing for you. We've got this transformation card also that is there uh, as well. So if it's if it's you, then um, you know maybe taking a proactive approach at finding somebody that can help you with that is gonna benefit you a lot. Let me grab a sip and then we'll take a look at psychic development and forgiveness. Oops. So we've got the Eight of Wands, the Prince of Swords, and we've got the Eight of Swords, all right? so. With some of this that is coming up, uh, and we're coming back to this, this person, um, Spirit is asking you to, to really just start honoring your energy and you need, to, you need to be right on with it, okay? But you also, um, you know, you can start out with this forgiveness energy, whether it's you need to just forgive yourself right away. You know, just take a minute and go into some meditation, uh, take yourself into a calm place, bring up whatever's coming up, and see where you can find forgiveness in that. Whether it's you holding on to something for uh, the time that you held on to it for and you recognize that it's not serving you anymore, maybe you need to forgive yourself for that. I've held on to this for such a long time and I'm done with it and I, I'm offering myself forgiveness for holding on to it for such a long time because now I recognize that it hasn't served me to hold on to that and I forgive myself for that as well right so some of that you just it, 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 let it come let it be quick okay and then we've also got the prince of swords so with that um, with this prince of swords energy uh, there's this this energy of really quick movement um, but have an idea of where it is that you're going with this so there's there's a little bit of caution in this that you know with this fast movement you know maybe some of these these psychic intuitions they seem really good but spirit is saying make sure you have a handle on it make sure that you have an understanding of uh, uh, where where you need to put your energy okay because uh, you might you might be under the influence of, of somebody else's psychic energy as well, because we've got this Eight of Swords. You know, there might be somebody else that's kind of meddling. It might be this person from the past, this mirror person for you. You know, they might be kind of coming in and running some, some interference on you and creating a little bit of a challenge. Remember, Swords, mental energy, Eight of Swords, kind of a more challenging energy. So they might be providing a, a little bit of opportunity for you to really honor your energy and for you to affirm yourself and affirm your boundaries. All right. So those are the messages that Spirit has to share. Uh, are we doing this? Are we going for these four cards? Spirit says no. Spirit says no. So we're done with those. We're done with that. Angel Spirits Guides, who are we, who are we gonna share messages from? Here we go. 
the light worker oracle angel spirits guides thank you for all of the messages that you've shared so far and thank you for the messages that continue to come through angel spirits guides what is it our beautiful beings need to know about honoring their energy what are the final messages that we have to share final messages We've got spiritual decree. One more. One more. Okay. I know I said one more, but I want one more because that's the dark night of the soul. So the spiritual decree, the energy that's coming through with, with this spiritual decree is that it, it just it's coming back to this need for you to really honor your energy and to affirm to the universe that I am done taking shit from people. <laughs> I am going to be respectful of myself and my energy and therefore respectful of other people as well. But to just put it out into the universe, to really feel it in your heart and let that emanate. Because some of you, this energy that's coming up where you're, you're reflecting on and looking at uh, uh, the things that are going on in your life, it's, it's kind of feeling like the dark night of the soul where you're questioning everything about yourself. All right, angels, spirits, guides, that's what we're doing. And the third and final card is card number three, the third ray of creative intelligence. And in this card, I absolutely love it. So there's a figure where it looks as though they are kind of doubled over and there's lots of little cracks all over their body. And from out of those cracks, there's this spirit being that's coming surrounded by by. <laughs> by butterflies. I, I, I giggled because this card uh, that is at the top is transformation and there's a caterpillar and of course the caterpillar is going to turn into a chrysalis so that it can transform into a butterfly. Um, so this, this energy of transformation, this thing that's under the surface that spirit is urging you towards, it really does come out in a beautiful way and it 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 really is about you spreading your wings and trusting that you have the ability to to create the life that is best for you and in fact you are creating the life that is best for you okay ah and as i look as well so this kind of again working with this progression energy uh we've got a singular person who is in touch with their heart space. They've set it out into the universe. And then we've got this dark night of the soul where the person is kind of drawn in and you know doing this and the higher self of them is like reflecting on that. And then we've got the person that is doubled over and then transforming this energy. Uh, you know, there's, there's a little bit of light in their hands in this card. And in this one, they've fully embodied a light being. So there, you are really coming through it. Trust part of the process. Set your intentions out. Be kind to yourself. Forgive yourself. Find forgiveness in others. Okay? <laughs> These are the messages that Spirit wants to share. If you want to see a picture of the layout of all of the cards, go to my Instagram. You can find that in... Um, the description below. Beautiful beings, until next time, may you receive abundant blessings of love, joy, light, wisdom, <laughs> and all of the good good.